Are parabens in your skincare doing more harm than good? Hey, I'm Ruha, a chemical engineer, and this is a spotlight on chemical safety. Parabens are molecules made up of very common elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. But their particular arrangement gives them some superpowers, including the ability to prevent bacteria and mold from growing in products such as lotion, cleansers, shampoo and conditioners, makeup, deodorant, and sunscreen. But there's another thing their particular shape and chemistry does. It messes with your hormones, mimicking estrogen in the body by binding to those receptors. For both men and women, this can disrupt your endocrine system, which is where your body regulates hormones. In men, this can mean disruption of testosterone regulation, which is important for muscle mass, bone density, and sperm count and quality. In women, this can mean disruption of the reproductive cycle and potential effects in the development of breast cancer. I use the words can and may a lot. That's because like a lot of other chemical safety topics, more recently research is needed to say anything conclusively. Which begs the question, why is something so unresearched being pumped into cosmetics to the tune of billions of dollars annually? I don't know about you, but if it's easy enough, I prefer to choose safer when possible. Unfortunately, that doesn't just mean looking for paraben-free in your skincare products. It also means making sure they didn't replace it with something just as bad. What should I cover next? Drop your questions about parabens and other chemical safety in the comments. And if you want recommendations for safer skincare, feel free to shoot me a DM.